Today I'm gonna to talk to you about my favorite report in digital marketing, the search term report. This essentially allows you to read the minds of your target audience online. Amazing stuff. But before we jump into this as an online market research tool, let's just talk about the traditional uh, market research industry. It's a very subjective way of getting information. Essentially what's happening is somebody, a company gets a sample of people who look like your, your target market and asks them how they believe they think feel or act in certain scenarios. So it's very subjective. For me, it's not a great way of getting information. When I was in college, my, my evening time job, one of them um, was I was one of the phone monkeys ringing up people, trying to ask them these questions. The people we really wanted to talk to, busy professionals, they had no time to talk to me, but the lonely old ladies at all the time in the world. Um, and I wasn't in the job very long before I, I came to the conclusion that I really hope no one's making important business decisions based on these phone calls. So that's the traditional market research industry. Let's jump back to what we're doing when we're looking at online marketing. So the, the, the difference between uh, the search term report or your Google AdWords data and this is you're not asking people how they believe they act in situations. You're literally monitoring their research and purchase behavior. It's perfect. And if you have a big enough budget, it's not even a sample. You're literally, you've data on your entire market and what they're doing when they're online. So the search term report, as I said, it tells you the precise phrases people are typing into Google when your ads are triggered. So it's a wonderful glimpse inside the mind, the emotions, the feelings, um, and the context um, of the demand for your products online. So there's three kind of levels of value to this. So level number one is the one that the search marketers are already doing, and they're optimizing their keyword list. They're looking at the search terms, they're saying, that's actually not relevant to us get that out of there. Oh, that is relevant. We don't have it in the campaign. Let's bring that in. So they're optimizing their keyword lists. Next level of value is understanding um, the further intent and the context of the searches. You might get great content ideas, like what are the questions people are asking around our products? Um, what, are, what else are they searching in conjunction with our products or our services? And this can give marketers really good ideas how to better promote uh, those products and services. You might find really good opportunities for strategic partnerships. Oh, they're interested in us, they're interested in these people over there. Let's, let's talk to each other. The third level is how we can give really good market research for business intelligence and business decisions. So let me tell you a story to illustrate this. One of my favorite clients from many years ago was a gentleman called Bob Power. Now, Bob Power was an accountant by trade. He ran an in-home care agency called Comfort Keepers, um, and he was a brilliant entrepreneur. And although Bob wasn't a marketer, every time I sat down for a meeting with Bob, I felt I got up a smarter marketer. So let me tell you about one such exchange. So very early on in the relationship, um, I'd only been running the, the, the account a couple of weeks. Um, I ran the search term report, and to my horror, 30% of their budget was been spent on job seekers. Like this was 2009, global financial crisis. Everyone's looking for a job. Um, so that's awful that those people are, are desperately trying to find a job, but these aren't the people we want to be spending our AdWords budget on. So I excluded, I made negative keywords out of jobs, positions, roles, play, um, positions, all those types of words. And I sat down with Bob and I said, look, this is what I've learned. Huge tranche of the people searching for home care are searching for home care jobs. Um, so you're not spending any money on that anymore. Don't worry. But perhaps there's an opportunity or a, there's a learning in here and perhaps there's even an opportunity as well. And Bob, you know, I could see the cogs going in his head and he's there, leave that with me. A week later, the phone rings and Bob says, Alan, you in front of the laptop? Always punch this in, www.comfortkeeperstraining.com. .ie, okay? So Bob had an internal uh, training school, which was industry accredited, and he used this to train up all his employees, his home, his home carers. He said, look, Alan, why don't we turn the school at the market and all these job seekers, let's train them up in that as well. And this was amazing. Uh, he blew my mind. It was a very simple three-page website using an existing internal resource, and he created a business that turned over tens of thousands of euro in, um, every month within a few months of launching it. And I guess that the further added benefit to this is he could now cherry pick the best trainees for his business. So I hope what you're seeing uh, through this story um, of the, the genius of Bob and his way of thinking about things was the search term report. Yes, it's great for optimizing keyword lists, but the insights you can get into the intent behind the search and the broader market trends in your industry can be really, really profitable for the entrepreneurial marketer. And um, so 
I'd, I'd implore you at whatever level of marketer you are, even if you're not a digital marketer, maybe you're a marketing director, never looked at AdWords before, please read your search term report. You'd be amazed what you learn. Um, another thing uh, you might notice when you're looking in there is you'll find there's a host of hilarious search terms triggering your ads. Um, you might see funny search terms like this. You could see some funny search terms like this. You might see some ridiculous ones like this. And then batshit crazy like this. Um, so if you want to contribute, I'd love to hear your funny search terms, the search marketers among you. Um, or if you've ever had an entrepreneurial use of the search term report, I'd love to hear your stories too. Hashtag as always, Wolfgang Bites. I'll be on Twitter Wednesday and Thursday. Hope to talk to you there.